Hey guys, you may be asking yourself, why am I redesigning the 94 to 97 Accord mount kit for K-Series? Welcome to VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. Breakdown. We've been making changes on some of the old kits and there's perfectly good reason for doing this. One of the things is we've developed some new mounts. We now have a lot of our mount kits as dual height. That means K20 or K24, we get the top of the head up as near as we can to the hood and uh, that helps out with insulation on a lot of cars. You get better ground clearance and other things like that. The other thing is there are actually four different transmission combinations you can use with this as well. So we decided to go ahead and cover all four of those transmission uh, combinations as well. So we have the first gen kit which was for the Accord was actually using the Accord transmission but a lot of people want to use the six speed from the RSX. So we're going to have a CDK2 kit, which is for RSX transmissions, EP3 transmissions, 06 Civic SI transmission. We're going to have a CDK4 kit, which is going to be like the one we were making, uses the first gen TSX and the 03 to 07 Accord. Then we're going to make one that is kind of a combination of the two, and that is going to run the 2012 to 2015 Civic SI, second gen TSX, and the 08 to 13 Accord. And then last but not least, we're going to do an all wheel drive set of mounts as well. So what's going to happen today is Scott is going to <laughs> is going to go ahead and show you how all four of those kits work inside our front half of our CDK Accord. Again, 94 to 7 Accord. And uh, you guys get to see uh, how it works. And if you want to do an Accord like this, you'll know just what kits you need, I hope. Here we go. Here is the CDK2 kit. You're going to need our new universal block bracket, which will go on all the different K20 and K24 engine blocks. It will come with a weld-in bracket. We'll show you things on that, but that part will get welded in. That mount goes to that, which goes to there. Bada boom, bada bing. A redesign on our rear mount recently it's a lot prettier the rear bracket very similar to an EGK2 kit and then driver's side transmission bracket which will just go into the stock home on the frame rail let's go let's go team said there's no I in team but it seems to be only me <laughs> I also went ahead and for this mount Sometimes it's easier to attach this first, and I'm going to go ahead and try it that way, and we'll see what happens. Uh, this is a K24 with a EP3 or RSX transmission. It's empty. Yeah, it's got no soul. Start off, I put the rear mount in here, and we leave the bolts just a little bit loose so you can maneuver that while you're trying to get the rear bracket on. We also had to remove the frame roll bracket, as you do in like an EG. We drilled out spot welds. I believe we actually have another video on that. So then this is our locating. There's a thread right here with a six mil. We actually just screwed a little, cut a head off a bolt, screwed that in there, and that'll help locate our new weld-in bracket. Grab our little weld-in bracket. Has this little hole. We screwed that thread in there. That lines it up. And then you can, you'll have to weld that onto your car. If yours doesn't fit as uh, tight as this one, you can actually cinch the bolt just a little bit to hold it. Helps you when aligning it, but fortunately a lot of you guys might be using a, a jack in your driveway. Cranny's holes have been ran through a couple times, so they're a little worn out. I'm also going to leave these just a little loose until I get this side bolted at least. Usually you want to leave them a little loose, but if you're using a jack, it's easier to leave them loose, but using the lift, I don't like to just drop them. 
when they're not tight. Oh no. I have these at the high position. So actually, since the rear bracket is mounted to the engine, we put it in the lower hole. Bada boom, bada bing. And there you go. How long did that take? 10 minutes. So guys, you can get this done in a weekend easy. And I suggest letting it rest. When you first put this in, make sure you mark an area to sand away all the paint that's big enough for you to be able to weld around this and through these holes. And then once you get it in and everything looks good, I would tack this quite well and then pull it out and weld in the appropriate holes that are there for welding. Okay, here we have our CDK4 kit. All the same mounts as our CDK2 kit, but it is for the 03 to 7 Accord or 04 to 08 TSX. That one's stripped down more than the other one. <laughs> Put this back bracket on first. And I can go ahead and set this in over here for the moment. This helps you see kind of where you need to be. Now for the tranny bracket. This bolt on our bracket here. Results may vary. This bolt's a little tight to the edge of this bracket, so you kind of got to feed it in until you get it almost tight. Yeah. I picked the whole engine up. Bam. CD K4. Get yours while supplies last. Up next here, we have the CDK5 kit. Now that's gonna use our second gen TSX or our 08 to 13 Accord and the 2012 to 15 Civic SI, if you're looking for an LSD transmission. Uh, and actually there's some ILXs too, I think work. But uh, this uh, mount kit has, the mount kit that's very similar to this, that is the same mount that you find on the CDK2 on top of the transmission on the back it's gonna be the same mount you find on the CDK4 bracket, and then everything else is kind of common because they're all the same. So let's go ahead and put that one together. Cool. We already have the engine in here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, uh, we have prepped the engine by putting on the block bracket on this side. Start off with, we're gonna put our block bracket, our uh, frame rail bracket back in. That has our timing chain side mount. Line that up. Mm -hmm. This is our transmission mount. We're going to go ahead and start off by sliding it into the uh, cup that kind of receives the mount and starting all our bolts. Now normally you can be using the factory bolt here. We happen to have one of ours because I have no idea where the factory bolt went. It was taken off long ago. All right. Last uh, one is the rear bracket. Okay, this is the CDK all-wheel drive kit. It's basically the same as the CDK5, but it's got this rear bracket with a reinforcement on it and minus a tab right here, just because there's no hole for that to go to on an all-wheel drive transmission anyways. Get it out of a CRV or an element, manual only. We don't do anything for an automatic right now. So with that, you can buy the CDK kit for whatever car you really, whatever engine you want. And if you decide you want to go a different way, all you have to do is get a, two different brackets, or maybe even just one, depending on what transmission you actually have. If you want to go to an RSX transmission after this, just dump that, get the CDK2 rear. It's good to go. Now this kit, we're definitely, we're gonna put the rear bracket in first. Okay. 
I like to set that guy right there. All right, so this is the last bracket. This is the all-wheel drive bracket. You can see the bolts are just getting ready to interfere with the subframe. Now, this isn't something I expect to sell a lot of, but it is something that is doable. If somebody wanted to have an all-wheel drive version of this, they would need to do quite a bit of modification to the frame rail out there in order to nest the engine back. We could have shifted it forward, but that's actually gonna make the axles angle kind of far forward, and that's not ideal. I would assume if you're making this all-wheel drive, you wanna drag race it. Um, and this is probably gonna be a better choice to modify everything and suck it back rather than, uh, rather than for me to make a whole new mount kit and move the engine forward. We're not gonna try this on right now because I don't wanna hack up the subframe on this particular chassis. It's gonna be the same, by the way, when we do our CBK, and it's of course same for the BB, uh, BB1, which is the Prelude. This is gonna be a special order, this rear bracket, but if you wanna do all-wheel drive, you're gonna wind up doing a pretty fair amount of modification and uh, it can be done. By the way, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with uh, Boost Boys. He used the CDK mount kit in his Honda Odyssey. So first gen Odyssey, almost identical to this particular generation of Accord. So you got a hankering to make a really fast Odyssey, much like Kyle did over at Boost Boys. You might think about this uh, mount kit. The CDK kit is actually on the website now if you want to order it. Uh, any of the K-Series transmissions. Uh, in fact, we should probably do a video on all the different K-Series transmissions just to kind of show people how they all vary. Uh, some people are aware of that they all bolt up, some people are not. Uh, and when I say all K-Series, I mean K20A, K20Z, K24A, K24Z. When you get to the W motors and the new K20Cs, those are not the same, they are not going to work. But uh, these, are, of course, are the common transmissions everybody's using for K-swaps. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for joining us on another episode of VTech Academy. Uh, we're gonna bag it right now. Uh, please think about liking and subscribing, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.